Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Moxie DIY in Java. I'm Michelle. Today's video was one that really got me thinking. The theme for the video is summer and there's a lot that I love about summer. There's the beach, lemonade, ice cream, hot dogs and hamburgers, amusement parks or fairs and I didn't want to just pick one so I was really thinking hard about how I could incorporate all of these different things that I love about summer into one compact thing because what we're making today are minis or things that will fit on a tiered tray. So I was racking my brain and it came to me a boardwalk or a pier or battery depending on where you live and that has everything that I love about summer in one place. So. Today's theme is going to be boardwalk. I am going to create an entire tier tray and minis centered around the boardwalk. So without further ado, grab your cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and join me on the boardwalk. So this will be the tiered tray I will be using. I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby last year, and I will be focusing mainly right now on just the second and the last tiers. So this took me, I want to say one package of these dominoes. And what we're making here is the boardwalk. And you want to make sure that the bottom of the domino touches the sides of your tray and the corners are touching the neighbor of the domino. You're going to want the colorful side of the dominoes facing up at this point. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to use twine and hot glue to combine all of them into a circle. So I'm just putting a line of hot glue, not at the very tip top of the domino, but in the top quadrant <laughs> of the domino. And then I'm pressing the twine into it. And that's what we will do with all of them. So what I'm showing here is that we're not fully connecting the circle. So this way we can take it off and on easily from the tray and also so we can flip it around. So as I said earlier about the theme being summer, uh, this is a challenge that is being hosted by Crafted by Corey, and I will link her channel below as well as the playlist. And the theme, like I said, was summer. So all of the other DIYers in this playlist will be doing summer themed minis. So it's going to be chock full of inspiration and I wanna thank Corey for hosting it. And I also wanna suggest that you visit all of the DIYers in this playlist because you are sure to find some sort of great inspiration. Now we're moving into our multiple shops and I decided to use mini birdhouses. I felt like that was the easiest way to create the look that I wanted. And these are the different colors that I have. I love Rust-Oleum products, so I picked mostly those and I felt like these colors really represented the beach and summer. 
So these are painted and what I'm going to do is use the backs of these birdhouses and just add decals or stickers or uh, printables to make them look like beach shops. I found these stickers at Walmart. The printables I'm using for the burger stand I found um, on DuckDuckGo and I just searched vintage hot dog signs. I sized them to how I wanted them. These mini sticks are from Walmart as well. And I'm going to use it to create a 3D effect on the hot dog sign. Printables I'm using for the next few houses I found in the same way as the hot dog sign. I just searched vintage and then whatever kind of shop I wanted it to be. Now I'm going to use multiple colored paint pens to create the windows and doors. For the windows, I'm using this silver paint pen from the Dollar Tree and it did awesome. I love this thing. And then for the doors, I used anywhere from black to brown to bronze. It just depended on what I felt looked best with the color. Our ice cream stand needed a counter. Here I'm making little stepping stones. For the surf shop, I felt they needed sliding doors. Now I'm using this white paint pen from the Dollar Tree to go around all of the windows just to give them a little more dimension. 
I got these umbrellas from the Dollar Tree and the red just was not gonna go with the aesthetic of my tray. So I painted the tops completely white and then I could still just barely see some of the red through the white and I used that as my guide to paint them blue. Now time for coffee. Today I am having the Thanksgiving blend from Starbucks. It was really good. If you ever feel the urge to support my channel, you can always buy me a coffee. I have a coffee account and it is listed in my about tab and in the description box. Now on with the DIYs. Every boardwalk I have ever been to has directional signs. So we're going to make our own using these really cute bulletin board papers that I found in the Dollar Tree teaching section. And we're going to use this beach sticker from the Walmart pack. I'm keeping it attached to its backing for the time being and cutting it out so I can use it as a template to make more of the same sized arrows. Now we're going to use this wind chime for our base and our stake. I am on other social media platforms as well and I would love it if you would come say hi. I decided to attach this sticker to a scrap piece of paper so I could use it more as a decor piece instead of a sticker. I chose to handwrite these signs rather than using a decal and when I do I like to start from the end of the word and then work my way to the front of the word so I know it fits. These needed some aging, so I'm just going to use some brown paint and lightly brush across them. And I spelled Ferris wheel wrong, I know. I ended up fixing it later. This is the paper towel holder from the Dollar Tree and I attached a zip tie to the top third of that vertical stake. I'm going to have all of this in real time so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I am cutting this zip tie as close as I can to the locking mechanism so it is not pokey and does not scratch anybody. This is the bicycle wreath form that I found at the Dollar Tree. I was shocked when I found this. And the sink strainer also from the Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna use the rubber gasket on the back.
Now we're going to use a screw. I wanna say it's about half an inch long. I grabbed it from my husband's stash and it did not have a label on it. But we're gonna attach that and the gasket to the middle hole of the wreath. And then you're gonna laugh at me. We're going to use a pony bead on the very end of that screw. It's the best I could find with what I had on hand. So if you have like an actual nut, then I would use that. But this worked for what I needed it and it's really tight and it's not going anywhere. Now we're going to use this mini zip tie to attach the wreath form to the paper towel holder. And you're also going to watch me struggle a bit and it took me a long time to figure out how to attach this thing, but we finally got it. You're going to place the mini zip tie through the middle of the larger zip tie. And hindsight being 2020, just make a loose loop through the front of the large zip tie and you will cut out all of this unnecessary struggling that I had with this. But what you really ultimately want is a loose loop around the nut or in our case the pony bead and the screw. Um, if you don't want your ferris wheel to turn then you can tighten your zip tie more but I wanted mine to be able to turn so I have mine a bit looser and this will hold it in place so it does not um, fall off. It works! These are some mini domino tiles that I also found at the Dollar Tree. I've seen them lately, but um, if you can find them, that is where I got them. If you cannot find them, you can also use foam core or cardstock and get the same look. This was the inspiration for the Ferris wheel and painted all of my little tiles in a rainbow of colors. Now to attach them, I am putting a line of hot glue in the middle of the tile and then placing it on the cross beam of the wreath. Now to make it glow. I got these lights during Valentine's Day and the color didn't suit the, the look I wanted. All I'm going to do is weave the lights through the vertical beam of the paper towel holder and once I get to the top I'm going to run the lights down the center of the vertical part of the paper towel holder. Now for the base, I'm going to just wrap the wire all the way around the outside and then once I get to the cross beam, I'm going to wrap it along the inside all the way around until I get back to where I started. And then I will wrap it once again around the unlit part of the wire. I hope that makes sense and I hope that the video kind of clarifies it a little bit. I know it's hard to see because the wire is so thin. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, I would love it if you would like, especially subscribe, and maybe even share my video with someone else who might be interested.
Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited for you to see this final look. For the lemonade and ice cream stands, awnings, all I looked for was a specific color stripe and then I printed it out and then I used one of my fancy hole punches to make the scalloped edge. This one is my favorite. Comment down below and let me know which of the shops is your favorite. I'd love to know. here's the tray oh my gosh I seriously could not be more happy with how this turned out it exceeded my expectations so for the sand I used crushed glass they come in bags from the Dollar Tree and this particular one is kind of a champagne rose gold color and I think it looks really pretty for the sand and frankly I don't want sand in my tiered tray because knowing my kids it would end up everywhere else so as you can see I did not stain the boardwalk you can obviously do that if you want to but I liked the natural color but here are all the shops and uh, I just love how this turned out I hope you guys liked it too and I hope that you get some inspiration to maybe make your own boardwalk And here's the Ferris wheel. This was what started the whole idea of making a boardwalk. I hope that you guys are inspired to make your own Ferris wheel as well. This is really relatively easy and I just love how it looks. It may not be mini enough to fit on a tiered tray, but it is a mini in comparison to the actual Ferris wheel. And I love the pink glow of it when it's all lit up. And here's how I styled them together. 
I hope you have enjoyed the time you spent with me as much as I enjoyed spending it with you, and until I see you in the next video, take care.